Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be sharing my May reading plans and I am so excited. I'm officially done with school, which means I'm going to try to read as much as humanly possible this month, which I am up for the challenge. I'm so excited. So I'm actually going to be breaking this video up into different categories and I'll put them in the timestamps. We have some slasher books, we have some serial killer books, and so much more. So I'm so excited and make sure you check out my description to know the categories and if you're not interested in one, you can always just skip ahead. With that being said, before I get started, I just want to mention that now we're moving the Night Film live show till the end of this month. We were going to do it last month, but we decided to move it to this month. So we are doing a buddy read, me, McKay, Sarah, Deja, and Rain. And we will be discussing the book over on Sarah's channel on May 23rd at 1 p.m. EST, 12 p.m. CST. So I'd love it if you joined us and joined in on the discussion. It's going to be really fun. If you don't know what the book is about, it is about a mysterious film director's daughter who actually dies and is found in an abandoned warehouse. And it's ruled a suicide, but this investigative journalist believes it actually wasn't a suicide. And the film director is a horror film director and all of his movies are banned because they're extraordinarily disturbing and he has kind of this cult following that will meet underground and view his movies. So it's super interesting. Here's the cover. I love the cover. It's a pretty long book. I started reading it a week or so ago and I'm about 100 pages in and I will warn you it is pretty dense writing but I can already tell it's a really well crafted book and every detail is important. It's mixed media which is really cool. I'll open it up and show you kind of some examples. So there's some articles in here and I'm just really enjoying it so far. It's unlike anything I've read before and it's honestly more of a mystery than a thriller, but I would highly recommend it and I've heard such good reviews from people who have read it. So I hope to see you at the live show, but without further ado, let's get into the video. So for my first category, slashers, I'm so excited. I've never actually really read a slasher book. I guess you could call Final Girls by Riley Saker a slasher novel, but these are true slasher horror novels. So the first one I want to talk about is Camp Slaughter by Sergio Gomez, and I am buddy reading this with Cami from Burroughs and Books, and I am so excited. This is about a group of college students going to this remote cabin in the woods for fun, and then things start going wrong, and there happens to be a cannibal on the loose. <laughs> this sounds so fun. They're being hunted by a cannibal. It sounds like the stakes are super high, obviously, and I'm really looking forward to reading this novel. Jordaline from Jordaline Reads raves about this book, as well as the next one I'm going to talk about, so I had to pick it up, and I felt like this was the month to read it. The next book is Kin by Keelan Patrick Burke. So all I know about this book is it involves cannibals again, and it's a slasher, and apparently it's super good, and the writing is amazing, so I'm really looking forward to reading it. And I oftentimes like going into books more blind, and so I try to do so as much as possible. And I've had my eye on this book for a while, and I decided this is the month to pick it up. And why not read a couple slashers in one month? All right, so my next category is Teenage Serial Killer Hunters. So for this, I'm going to read None Shall Sleep. And first of all, look at this amazing cover. I absolutely love it. And this is a YA novel, but I've heard some good things about it. So this is about two teenagers, and one of them is actually a serial killer survivor, and they're recruited by the FBI to help the FBI track down some juvenile serial killers. One day they're called in to give advice on an active case, and this active case is a serial killer who specifically targets teenagers. They have to interact with one of the country's most notorious murderers, and this is a teenage sociopath actually and his name is Simon and he is super manipulative. So this gives me a little bit of Silence of the Lambs vibes because of the serial killer kind of manipulating someone who's looking into a case. So it sounds super interesting and I'm really excited to read it. My next category is Held Captive and for this I'm going to start with 
The Butterfly Garden by Dot Hutchison. And I've been wanting to read this for a few months and this is the month I'm going to get to it because I am buddy reading it with Jess from Books Past Bedtime. So this is about two FBI agents who are tasked with piecing together one of the most disturbing cases of their careers. This case is about a man who holds groups of women captive and he actually tattoos butterflies on them. And I've heard that it's an extremely disturbing book, but I've also heard raving reviews and I can't wait to get to this one. It sounds really disturbing, but also very, very captivating. My next category is gothic slash haunted slash witchy vibes. So lots of vibes in this category. But to kick this off, I will be talking about House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. And this cover is a beauty. Oh my gosh, I cannot get over this cover. How gorgeous. So I'm not quite sure what this book is about. And it's a very mysterious concept. And to be honest, I really don't want to know what this is about. I want to go in blind, but I know that it is a dark kind of fairy tale book and I'm really excited to read it and it involves two sisters. So I can't wait to dive into this novel and I'm really excited to read it. And this is also the Stacks of Strange book pick for May. So I will be planning on tuning in to their live show. The next book is The Invited by Jennifer McMahon. And I'm going to read the description from Goodreads because this immediately made me interested. So it is a chilling ghost story with a twist. The New York Times bestselling author of The Winter People returns to the woods of Vermont to tell the story of a husband and wife who don't simply move into a haunted house. They start building one from scratch without knowing it until it is too late. I need some haunted house vibes this month. I just am craving that and I am so excited for this book. The concept sounds so good and I can't wait to dive in. So the next book is Mirrorland by Caroline Johnstone and this I actually talked about in my recent video talking about my most anticipated thriller releases. And I found this at the library and I was very excited to find it because it's a new release and I am saving money this way and supporting my local library. Anyway, this book is about two estranged sisters and growing up they lived in this gothic house and they made up this place called Mirrorland under their staircase. Elle now lives there with her husband but she mysteriously disappears so Kat is forced to go back to the house that she never wanted to return to. I love the trope of returning to a childhood place and I'm so excited to read this. And if you're curious, I talk about a bunch of other cool books coming out. So check out that video, I'll link it above. And for the witchy vibes, it is The Year of the Witching and this is by Alexis Henderson. And this is another buddy read with Jess and she so kindly gifted me this copy. So thank you so much. I love the cover again. I need to stop saying that, I really do because I'm just, I'm. I'm obsessed with covers, what can you say? I love the aesthetic of things. On the back of the book, it says, a young woman living in a rigid puritanical society discovers dark powers within herself in this stunning feminist fantasy debut. If that doesn't sound good to you, I don't know what to tell you because this book sounds amazing and the vibes I feel are gonna be so good. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to dive into this book this month. My next category is podcast elements, and I really enjoy books that have a podcast element, such as The Night Swim and Sadie, so I'm really excited for the next two books I'm gonna talk about. The first one is If I Disappear, and this is by Eliza Jane Brazier. Once again, the cover, <laughs> it's so good. This is about a woman who is obsessed with true crime podcasts, and her favorite podcaster goes missing, so she looks back into the podcast and tries to find hints on what happened. And this takes her to an isolated ranch and she begins searching for her there. So this setup sounds amazing. I can't wait to read it. And I've had my eye on this one a while. I just haven't been able to get to it. So I'm really excited to read it this month. And then another book that I talked about in my anticipated thriller releases is Girl 11. And this book is by Amy Suter Clark. And this looks so good. This is actually about a true crime podcast host. And she talks about cold cases on missing children. She has actually successfully solved a few cases, but now she wants to pursue the countdown killer. She goes to interview him, but when she arrives, she discovers he's actually dead. 
And then after this, a child is abducted by his same MO. So this sounds really good. I really like Criminal Minds and this gives me Criminal Minds vibes. So I'm really excited to dive into this. And once again, I found this at my local library. So I was super excited to get it there. My last category just has one book in it and I called it Murderous Couple. And this is My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. And this is a buddy read with my friend Kat from Booktube Beginnings. And I'm so excited to buddy read this with her and she actually so kindly gifted this to me. So thank you so much, Kat. But I'm really excited and this book is about a couple who commit murders together and it sounds really good. heard great things about it and it's been on my TBR for months and months and I can't wait to finally get to it this month. All right, so that is my super ambitious TBR for this month. I am so excited. I'm also planning on catching up on some books from previous TBRs and I will also be posting my wrap up for the last couple months in a combined video as well as a reading journal flip through. So I have some really fun content planned. Make sure you hit subscribe and turn on that bell if you wanna know when I post and I will talk to you all soon, bye.